Today we're going to replace a screen of a Dell Inspiron 14Z5423. The screen was uh, purchased at ScreenCountry.com. So this is what I saw one day when I turned on my screen. And now we're going to power it off and replace the screen. So make sure you turn it off. All the power is off. Make sure it's unplugged. Mine's already unplugged. Okay. The first step is we have to remove this bevel covering. Just very carefully get your fingernails underneath there. Pull it around. If there's a spot that doesn't pop real easily, just go to the next spot. Try not to break it. You don't know. Very carefully you're removing it. Okay. Yep, we got one more. Yep, pull it off like that. Off to the side. So we have four screws we need to remove. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the next step is we're going to use a uh, precision screwdriver and start removing the screws. They're very tiny, so be careful. Um, I think the easiest way to do it is to put them somewhere so you don't lose them. There's one. Two. Three. And four. So now that the screws are removed, lift the screen off carefully. As you'll see, it's attached to the motherboard with a uh, clip. There's some tape protecting it. You want to remove the tape. Just put that off to the side just for a second. You're going to put that back on because it's important. You'll see it's connected. Just carefully remove that, just like that. That's your. Then the old screen is removed. We want to remove the uh, or get the new screen that we got from ScreenCountry.com, and we're going to carefully place the connector. You want to make sure it's all flush and everything, just like that. Now it's important to, the reason I told you to save that tape is it's really important to put that tape back on so the connector stays connected when you put it back on. Careful. And you're just gonna slip it back on there, line the holes back up. Now I have found out because the screws are so tiny, it's easier to flip the laptop this way so you can just drop the screws in the holes. I would prop it up with something just to be safe. Careful not to press on the screen at all because then you'll have another broken screen. ScreenCountry.com would be happy, but you will not. You also could use um, tweezers to control the uh, screws if you want. Got one in there. And four. Okay, so now we want to slip back up the other way. Now, I would suggest just to be safe, because sometimes some people aren't very good at this and that connector might have slipped. Check it now, because the cover, the 
the cover is just a plastic cover. There's no electronic issues right now. So why not let's turn it on and let's just make sure. Aha! So we have succeeded. So now all you want to do is snap the cover back in. Now you could probably turn it back off, but I think it's fine as long as you don't push on the screen. Start hearing that snapping. Look at that beautiful screen now, huh? And now we're a happy camper because our laptop works again. And so, there you go. That is a replacement of a Dell Inspiron 14Z 5423. Thank you.